Hello and welcome to Mr. Weather's Home Learning Lab. Today we're going to learn about how air masses form. Here's what we'll need for this experiment. Three shoe boxes, two bowls, one cup of warm water, an ice tray, and some plastic wrap. The first step is to put one bowl in two of the boxes and leave the third box empty. Next, we're going to fill this bowl with warm water. We're going to put ice cubes in this box. And then we're just going to leave this box empty. Now we have to cover each box with plastic wrap. After we've wrapped every box with plastic wrap, we have to wait a few minutes to have the effect that we want. So I'm going to set a timer for five minutes. After waiting a few minutes, let's uncover each box and feel what it's like inside. Pay attention to the temperature inside the box and how damp or humid the air feels. In the warm water box, it has warm and humid air. In the ice box, it's cold and dry air. In the room temperature box, it's warm and dry air. Previously, you've learned that air masses have a two-part name, given by temperature and humidity, as well as the location in which they formed. If they form over land, they're called continental air masses. If they form over the ocean, they're called maritime air masses. So in this experiment, which air masses do these boxes represent? The box that had the bowl of warm water had warm, humid air, which represented a maritime tropical air mass. The box that had the bowl of ice had cold, dry air. This represented a continental polar air mass. The room temperature box had warm, dry air, which is like a continental tropical air mass. These are three common air masses that impact the weather in the United States. So give this experiment a try at home and join me next time in my home learning lab.